John Kerry, the U.S. Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, is scheduled to arrive in Shanghai on Wednesday, becoming the first senior U.S. official to visit the Chinese mainland since July 2019. But this is obviously not an ice-breaking trip for China-U.S. relations. The U.S. stance is to completely separate cooperation from competition and the confrontation between the two countries. Cooperation with China does not indicate an improvement for Sino-U.S. relations, but only a separate project to advance U.S. interests. In my opinion, China will warmly welcome Kerry with an open man but won't hold high expectations for his visit. We will follow our established course and commitments to the international community to align with the Biden administration's climate plan. But we would never compromise China's interests. In fact, China-U.S. relations are an integrated one. It isn't realistic to stab at it and then draw one or two special domains to strengthen cooperation. It's unrealistic to have a tiny special domain of sunshine in the middle of a storm. For example, antagonism has become the general climate between China and the US. Both have lost basic trust in each other and are worried that the other side will set traps.